And while I'm waiting for that to happen, let's just go to Alex's office. I feel like I could go all the way around and risk fighting a bunch of those dudes, or I can head up as tall as I can here, glide over to that awning, and then just glue my way up. stuff. Psycho shock shielding, out of sweet, a no way transmitter, two narrow mods, and once things get as bad as they probably are, your only option is to escape. Get the word out about what's happening on Talos One. Alex has a private escape pod. It's locked up. I made a copy of the key and hid it on top of the data tower, near the chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Listen, there's more at stake this time than just us or this station. If just one of those creatures made it back home... Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him finish that one. Division on top of a computer cabinet. Missing key card. Labeled EP 101. Pretty sure we found that already. Uh, rogue operator. Hmm. That's probably January or even December. Has five fitness tests because Alex is kind of a large man. Thermal personality drift, okay. So apparently every time I come back I'm a little bit different than I was than the last time. I've already gotten near my fabrication plan, but if I had just found it now I'd probably be way weaker than I thought I would be. Let's extend the bridge. Time, not going anywhere. Okay, let's see if there's a bridge out here. I'm legitimately curious. Is there anything up there I should know about? Arboretum. 
Now a good personal grab shaft. Sure, let's fire that up. Come and get me right here. In the meantime, let's try to figure out a way up this wall. Problem is the overhang is gonna stop me from getting up anywhere good. The only thing I can think of, maybe, that might work is No, I can't stack these things. God damn it. Can I get this from the outside, maybe? bridge he was talking about earlier, or that bridge I just found a second ago. Alright, nothing else over here. These stairs go down to... Oh, come on, I could've just walked there this whole time. Oh, I feel dumb now. And I'll bet you anything this is his own personal private escape pods. Now, good tracking bracelet, so he could be anywhere on the space station. I don't have the key card to get into his private escape pod, but at least now I know where to send people. So I bet you this is the one escape pod in the entire place that isn't going to shut itself down. Alright, let's see what we got waiting for us down here. It'll just split itself again. Deep storage. Look around for more supply crates. Operator dispenser, I'm gonna go ahead and fix. Tell you what, how about this? How about we get a Typhon lure going? Put it right over here. Have it do nothing. And then I just go shoot the thing with a shotgun because that's how I roll. I 
didn't see that coming, did you? We got 44 shotgun shells, that's not terrible. They're in water right now. Apparently that doesn't work the way I thought it would. Maybe I could shock the water and kill them both that way. Sounds like somewhere I definitely want to check out. Storage area. Granted, it wasn't a massive stockpile, but better than nothing. fruit. You guys are still unconscious up there, right? Just, but safe and alive, guarded by several turrets that are very strong. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. Yeah, Alex here is in the coup quarters. I don't Scanning yet have no type of material detected. the means to get in there. Thank you, Terry. 
Spirit. No type and material detected. All right. Quick trip to the fabricator. Then we're gonna go to the bridge. Maybe we can unlock all this shit from there. Super fruit needs to be used in something apparently. Shotgun, thigh hypo. That's about all we have to worry about right now. Out of curiosity, is that enough for another neuromod? do we need for our next thing anyway? We've got five right now, it's not nothing. And we've almost completely filled out the engineer section. Jesus, I think that must be our chosen career path in life. And security would let us increase our health. We've already increased our damage with firearms. We're doing all right with stealth. At oh, 200 damage to enemy people, they're unaware of you. Save that for later, but that would be really nice to have. Let's get one more Neuromod, then we can have... Actually, I can make one more Neuromod right now, is to trade in some more of these. Typhon Lures, let's split it. Typhon Lure... No Wave Transmitter. Oh, I can actually split how much I need. I'll take two. Make ourselves another Neuromod. Master of Wrench Kung Fu, or Wrench Fu, I don't know, I don't really know what to call it. Uh, suit chip sets, we got full up, scope chip sets, resistance to psycho shock. Okay, we have to get some more of these, because some of these are actually going to be useful to us later. Yeah, two more, we can get the pistol critical, and psycho shock resistance. Out of curiosity, if we go into neuro mods, what do we need for that? The scientist section? Yeah, it's here. Oh man, we have to spend five points to get there? Jesus. That sucks. I don't even use psychic like, powers. Alright. Off to the bridge with us. We'll come back later, we'll leave that off for now. Alex's room has the escape pod key. Deep storage is our next story objective location, but I really want to see this uh, what the bridge looks like in this place. And hell, nobody said this is going to be a linear playthrough, so... To the bridge! Under the watchful gate, the captain Jada March, personnel on the bridge oversee orbital station keeping, monitor space weather, space weather, and direct shuttle traffic and communications.
fix that turret. What the fuck? Oh, god damn it. Oh, ass. Evade or kill the nightmare. Well, I know what I'm voting for. Um, okay, so we, did, we just scanned the nightmare. That should, that should give us some information about it. No entries found. Its purpose is to hunt me down. It's immune to EMP and stun, but it's weak to psychic. Um, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kill that fucking thing. So, let's heal up. And repair our suit. lab tech, so I can't upgrade this any further, so the shotgun's gonna be our best bet. Yeah, we need lab tech. So, let's just go ahead and equip this. Quick save. And fuck this thing up. I can take this thing. down there, right? Yeah, no, I scanned it. Nightmare is dead. Okay, so as traumatic as that was, we did manage to beat the ever- Good afternoon, Talos. Lunch is served. Okay. Are you really being serious right now? The cafeteria from I just killed the nightmare. Are you really going to be Please scared refer to of the you? Weekly upgrade for today's menu. You're not even worth a bullet. Okay. Let's save those for when we actually get the ability to upgrade the science weapons. But, damn, that was effective. Holy hell, that thing was out for my ass. It's like since it happened to this turret. Tell you what, you come over here. back over. Okay, that's not gonna happen. This is 
just have to be good enough. I was trying to get rid of Ray's platform for the turret, but that's gonna have to do. Where is the turret anyway? Oh, I put it down right here. charges. And then the Q-beam. Anybody else want some? No? Good. Oh, I can actually move that whole thing? Jesus, what is, what is the purpose of this thing? Camera elevation. Executive level. I have no idea what the purpose of this whole thing is. I'm gonna leave it alone. Email! Coming through. when I heard an operator, but there appeared to be one around here. But hey, we got the briefing room key. Let's check this place out. A mimic and a voltaic phantom. Goddamn air. I'm kind of upset. I thought you were a Neuromon. Okay, Phantom had a weapon upgrade kit on him. I'm quite sure why all these places are littered with historical documents as opposed to, you know. Actual items that might come in handy over the course of your job. Authorized personnel only. Engineering operator, we just found one, I think we're okay. Much 
quite sure why I played the music thing for this. There's a vertical area to this, but does it really matter? Is there anything up there? Outside Talos One, we can use that to spy on exterior areas of the ship. That's really impressive, actually. Now I'm not quite sure why we would ever need to do this, but it's nice to know that we can if we so choose. This is Captain Jada Marks. I'm setting down for posterity my deliberation over the fate of the shuttle Advent. I'm unable to determine with confidence if the Advent departed before being contaminated by the life forms presently overwhelming Talos I. Best guess, based on telemetry data, Advent departed approximately 30 minutes prior to the first incident report logged by security. 30 minutes. It is within that narrow gap of uncertainty I must decide whether or not to remote detonate the shuttle and its five passengers. They may very well be flying a cargo hold full of mimics to an unsuspecting Earth. They may not. Captain! We could sure as hell use that golden gun right about now! I don't... Oh shit. Okay. We've got some serious problems. First things first. Oh 
Jesus. This is one hell of a decision to make. I'm going to go ahead and put a save game down just because of the magnitude of what's about to happen. Now, shuttle's about to land in Seattle. It came from here, could be contaminated. If it has even one mimic on board, everybody's fucked. Now I've got three minutes to stop it. Um, we can disable the pre-recorded announcements. That's at least nice. The evacuation announcement. Let's go ahead and disable that. Oh boy. Yeah, it's, it's too great a risk. We cannot let that thing go. These things are extremely hostile. We can't reason with them, and they're going to kill everybody they can get their, their hands on. So we are definitely not going to let that shuttle land. And for that matter, we're also not going to let anybody off this station. So we're going to stick with January on this one. Much as I don't like it, we're going to destroy the space station. So, covered the captain's quarters. Can't get into the captain's loft, sadly. It's not even on the map anymore. Briefing room has an NPC in it. What? Oh, the engineer. And security station just over here. Download the area map. We kind of had the whole thing anyway, but. Oh, escape pod bay. What do you want to bet those don't work either? Did I, I thought your shift isn't for another two hours, but I need you to come in now. Is everything okay? No, it's not. Stop by my cabin first. Bring the gun from my safe. Transmitting the key code. Right away, Captain. The golden gun. Okay, it's in crew quarters. That's why I can't find it. In the meantime, is there anybody still alive up here? Riley Butler's in the cargo bay, but he's still alive. Everybody else dead. Okay, that's it for the bridge. It's this area of the bridge. Might as well check out the escape pods while we're here. I can't even have time for your shit. explode if I throw it at something hard enough. Just scan the rest of the area. Just that one. Now, if I tag this with a pistol, it'll pop. And then I can throw the O2 bottle. Look at that. No more problems. Okay, 
Okay, yeah, we cleared the place. Bridge is through the Arboretum. You figure it would be like right off the main elevator, but I am not a Starship designer or space station designer. Last day of my vacation. Oh, Granny's alive. We can go talk to them. Save. Now I know it seems a little bit weird. Why am I agreeing to save people if I know for a fact they're going to be dead in like 10 minutes? But at the same time, I don't really want anybody to die horribly, and those mimics are not gentle with their absorbing. If I can keep somebody alive, at least until the station blows up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, give the effort. Hello, nice to see you. Oh, Randy's over here now. Oh, she's underneath. Uh, Doctor, you, what happened? Where? Oh god, please tell me you killed that... thing. Hell yeah, I did. I came up here to deploy the EATs. The Eradicator turrets. Then it was like all the color bled from the world. Everything had an... edge to it. I, I couldn't control myself, I... But... The EATs are still in the small arms closet nearby. We could still use them. Here's the code. I'm going to make my way to the cargo bay. Security was supposed to fall back there. <laughs> Sarah will have my ass if I don't. Storage closet, AR01 to access spare security turrets. Is that not an objective now? I'm going to head down to Cargo Bay. Don't want to make Sarah mad. Even if she didn't make it, she'll still find a way to take it out on me. Did you find the EATs? I hope they shred those things. Oh, I think I know which closet they're talking about. Should be this one. Scanning target, no alien material detected. Strength system we covered. My vision's a bit blurry, but I'm doing better. I have not found the storage closet yet. We've got nine exotic materials, so you know what that means. We can install those two other chips. So critical. Psycho shock. Yeah, 
Yeah, that, that should be really good to have. I remember this guy not being there, but hey, did I just get one more? I did, okay, so yeah. Um, increase the side pool. Add two more chipsets from the psychoscope. Which means we got mimic detection, scan, physical critical, and resistance to psycho shock. That's really all I really want. Nothing else here is really going to apply to me except maybe the time to repair an object, but that doesn't take very long anyway. Alright. We are looking pretty. Again, what was the objective on that one? Uh, view completed. Storage closet AR one to access press I think I, I think I've already done that. That's why it showed up as done. Okay. So we can't get the crew cores up card, which we don't have. So all of that's gone. Bryce Broadway is in life support, but we haven't activated the power yet. We are going to deep storage. It was the original objective anyway, so now we're just going to do that for real this time. I'm just curious, there were two guys still alive up there when I left. There was Rani, and then there was somebody else. Hello, are you here for an appointment? I'm not gonna look that gift horse in the mouth, I'm just saying. Alright. Engineering operator, we don't really need right now. Good afternoon, Talos. Don't forget that Transstar safety standards call for a weekly inspection of your uniform. Report to the hardware. Oh, good, we got another one of these. My Marine Marilock unlocked. Ivy, what is it? How's it coming? I, I can't get this damn thing open. Where's Danielle? What the fuck? That is power. Uh, or the waste processing location. Still not answering. What's wrong? Danielle tied the lock to her voice. We need her to speak the key phrase or we're not getting in here. Would voice samples work? Transcribe recordings? Yes, if they have the right words. Or if we gathered enough to map her voice to a consonant and vowel list and started running patterns. I'll see if I can find her. Or her transcribe. I'll check her room first. All right, Ivy, but look, don't do anything stupid, okay? Ivy? Ivy? Shit. Damn it, Danielle, where are you? Alex, this is Captain Mark. It's unlikely Chief Show is still alive. I advise you follow Zachary West's strategy. Hack together voice samples. Your transcribe is equipped with the necessary software. It's how you made my voice. Danielle's cabin might be a good place to get started. Alex, this is Captain Marks. I'm calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of Talos-1. I've tried to issue a mayday to Earthside operations, but our external communication systems are malfunctioning. If you're still with us, we're keeping our posts until the last pods are safely away. Marks out. What do you have for me, Cothran? Chief, yeah, so I checked that flight plan for the volunteer shuttle like you requested. You're right, it went dark for 12 minutes before it resumed a path towards Earth, but at a slightly different trajectory than before. It's almost unnoticeable, like it left from a different part of the station or changed its flight pattern around Talos. 12 minutes? What about the other shuttles? It's only the volunteer shuttles, but it's all of them. They go dark 8 to 10 minutes after leaving the station, then suddenly reappear. The VIP shuttles don't show the same... irregularity. Got it. Don't talk to anyone about this. About what, Chief? Exactly. Good work, Matt. Elazar out. 
Okay, a whole lot of weird shit going on, but not our problem. We're going to the crew quarters. Now, I mean, it'd be one thing if we could be absolutely certain that there were no mimics on or around the craft that's going back, but you're never going to get a 100% guarantee. Like, even if, like, the people were safe, their clothing might not be, a panel on the wall, a piece of circuitry. Actually, the circuitry wouldn't work because it would be fried. I mean, theoretically, you could just electrically shock everything that's going on there, but that wouldn't work if something is voltaic. You could try burning everything on there, but that wouldn't work if it's... Exactly. More specimens required. You! I see you! Another puppet! Looking for me with black eggs behind your eyes. Come closer. Yep. Mind control humans. Okay, apparently you can stun A these guys. Closer. <laughs> Stupid puppets. What? You too? You want to come into a kitchen? Good. Come. Stupid beast. You think you can kill me with them? Okay, well, first things first, let's get rid of the um, deep storage. Will Mitchell, we should go to the cafeteria and see if we can save him. I don't have a whole lot of um, battery left, so go ahead and we can hope we can get to him before we run out of taser power. Can get me. Ooh. Oh boy. Sorry, Bruce. You got you asked for this. Vital signs critical. I don't remember shooting him, but you know what? Let me just quickly load that last save. I have to go back and check the footage on that, but I'm pretty sure I didn't shoot that guy. How many bodies do you have, huh? Can't fight the beast voice! Scan complete. Only psionic 
You run out of puppets, huh? You keep sending and sending. When will you stop? Stop! Can't think with all the puppets bombed. Up, he'll be still have a chance to live. Which is more than I can say for most. Ooh, look at that controller. I wonder what these guys are playing. Okay. Danielle's cabin is over there. Cafeteria is over there. She was a DM. Fatal Fortress in the world deprived of sunlight. Okay, so here's all the character sheets. Rosalind Swift, who's very clearly some sort of archer. Captain Stabfellow, we saw him earlier. All right, uh, Elias has- Stabfellow! Stabfellow has vanished into the darkness beyond the tower door. The only sign of him is his blood trail. Horde and Baffle Flag Dasterus. Oh, wow. But as well you done. watch, the flags to. Stabfellow's treasure map. I can't tell if that's a spa like a spot in the real game I mean, or to drink in the in blood. Their game. The cracks glistening red. Oh, Jesus Christ on a stick, Abigail. Don't be such a baby. We either head through the door. Well, forget that. It just ate our warrior. Unless you can handle the entire pack of rat men, oh spellless wonder. We don't have much choice. Elias? Sorry. Stabfellow? Captain Stabfellow! Can I answer her? Hell no! You hear nothing from the darkness. It has swallowed Stabfellow completely. All right, let me light a torch. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Station-wide OS upgrade. Had to hold Bellamy's hand through the whole process. Abby, do you have my character sheet? You made it. Yes, right here. Yeah, we found one of the five samples we're gonna need, so. I don't wanna hack that turret just yet. But there's still mind control people out here, and if I can get them without getting them shot, that would be ideal. <laughs> 